Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my dining room hutch. Yep, we are moving into the dining room, foyer, living room portion of this blue and white decor. That said, I'm going to be kind of decorating in similar in a similar fashion except that I'm going to be lightening the palette with the greenery portion of the decor. Instead of it being your bolder more true green color, it's going to be more of a, a lighter like lamb's ear color in there like this. And what I'm going to be working on today are just a couple of projects Sorry for the light. Goodness, it's very bright outside. <laughs> uh, just a couple of projects. I'm going to be making a garland to go across the top of it. I've never really made a garland for just like my everyday decor for the uh, hutch. So I thought that I would try to combine three different garlands. A light green garland, a lamb's ear garland, and a cream pitberry garland. Now the pitberry garland is not one of the really nice garlands from the pipberrybarn.com. This garland is from Hobby Lobby and I only paid $10 for it. So, uh, and then I'm going to wrap it in 35 white lights, not a ton of white lights, just enough to give a little bit of interest on that hutch. That hutch is 30 years old. I don't like things to look dated. And I'm not going to go out and buy new furniture, though. I'll tell you that. So, because it's beautiful furniture and it was never used in our other home. So, it's in really good shape. So, uh, you know, but it was purchased in the 80s. <laughs> I'm 58. I purchased things in the 80s. You know, that's just the way it goes. So, I'm trying to update uh, the, the, you know, decor a little bit here. And uh, so, that's what I'm going to work on first. Then, I'm going to take... Uh, uh, Chris glued some plates together for me. Remember these beautiful uh, plates that I used similarly up on top of this big hutch in here. Um, but I added a plate to it for the dining room. So this is a charger, just a plastic charger. D over there at My Feather Cottage Adventures sent me a beautiful set of these white milk glass dishes. And then I found the Staffordshire plate at a the Minuteman mini ball over in Culpeper, Virginia. So these will sit up. I have two of these and these will sit up, you know, on either side. And then I have that really big plate that I didn't carry out here because it's heavy as lead that Candace and Dustin gave me for Christmas. That will go in the center. And then I thought I have two lanterns up there and I have some uh, candle holders up there, but I thought I would do one more thing similarly, similar to what I did on the uh, mantle, only using uh, these uh, mercury glass candlesticks that are always up on that hutch anyway. But I have two more of these spheres left, so I thought I would make candle rings in out of the lamb's ear and wrap those around this. And, and I have a little bit of pit berry. If I have enough, I'll make them a pit berry and lamb's ear and put these up there too. So I think that will finish the look. And I'll probably tweak the inside of the hutch too, but not too much. It's pretty much just adding in what I took out before Christmas and before fall. So, you know, not too much of that. A touch of springy looking, springier looking things. And, um, you know, so we're gonna go with it. So anyway, let's move over here to this counter. Sorry, these, these spheres are they don't have like a flat bottom, so they tend to want to roll around on my counter here. So let's see if I can move you over here and scoot you down. Okay, hopefully that will be good enough. And let me see, I think I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna take a minute, I'm gonna pull out the strands of these pit berries like this so that it'll be easier to get the green in between. I'll probably do some fast motion here as I, whoops. 
work with this pit berry for just a second. Okay, now, first thing I wanna do is go with this greenery garland. I'm gonna get me a couple of tie wraps because I'm gonna tie it on, tie wrap it on in the end. First, let me find the middle of the pit berry. Right about there. Okay, let me find the middle of this. It's right about there. And There we go. Okay, now. And through about every other one. Just go as far as I can. we go. All right, now, give me some more tie wraps. Let me tell you a little secret of what I found today. I went into Hobby Lobby to get some more lamb's ear garlands just for this project. And it used to be that Hobby Lobby would have their garlands on sale when their stem florals were not. Well, I think they've switched that around for 2020. And now all of their stems, their garlands, their bushes, everything is on sale in the same week. Last week, stems were on sale, so I went in there looking this week thinking garlands would be on sale. Well, they weren't. So as I was tootling around, I then came across the wedding aisle, which I never thought they put on sale like ever. Well, everything in the wedding aisle was 50% off and included in the wedding aisle were these lamb's ear garlands that were 50% off of $20. And I said, oh, are these lamb's ear garlands on sale? And she, there happened to be a lady standing in there, a worker standing in there, and she said, yep, anything that says his and hers when wedding stuff is on sale are on sale too. And that is, that is the tag that was on this garland. I was like, hello, I'm a happy girl. So I got me a few lamb's ear garlands for 50% off. I would have waited till next week had <laughs> I not found these. But anyway, let me find the middle of this garland. This is about right there. And I need to go get some more tie wraps. Hang on. I will probably go through every other pit berry stem where the other garland didn't go through. So, come right through here. Here. go. 
um, you know, just finish up the other side here, and then we'll be ready to put some white lights on it. And I think this is going to be super pretty. And these are going to hang down either end, but I'm not going to wrap anything else up in these. They'll just hang down on either end. I think they'll be lovely. All right. Not about right. I wish I had just a smidge more, but that's all right. I think we'll work it out. Okay. If I get it up there and I need some more clams here on there, I can always add a little bit more on. I think that looks super pretty. Actually, I think I'm going to cut just an end of this off, this pit berry off. There we go. All right. Now, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to cut just one little. One more little piece. like one massively long. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know which way there that way. I don't know why that was down there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Next up, I'm gonna get my lights and I'll be okay, ready. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready to put some lights on this garland now. So let me have to use. These are called deco lights and I there's always a link in the description for my brown corded lights. The, this happens to be a set of 35 but you can get them in you know sets of 10 lights, 15 lights, 20 lights, 35, 50, 100 and so on. I chose 35 because frankly I don't have I don't have a 50. I might have put a 50 but I'm going to use a 35 because that's what I have. So, me, I hate these things. These things just hurt me, you know? <laughs> Let me pull these out of here. Now, I know that I need to have the plug on the left-hand side, but I'm going to kind of do what I did with the garlands. I'm going to find the middle, and I'm going to work my way out from the middle with these. So I get all these tags off. Okay. Now I am going to, uh, do I have another tie wrap? No. Find where the middle is. There's the middle one here. We find one more tie wrap. Hang on. Now, I'm very loosely going to wrap these, you guys, and the, light, the brown cord will disappear in, to the foliage. There 
we go. I need to run into the garage and get myself some more tie wraps. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Here we go. And That is super pretty. All right, next up, uh, let's see if I can do one of these spheres. And on one of these, these spheres do not want to sit still on one of these candlesticks. Pitberry left, just a little one. But I think it'll be enough. going to tie it together with a tie wrap. And you catch the catch everything in one tie wrap here. Again, the glue dots are always in the, a link for them is always in the description of every video. high so I kind of want these maybe hanging oops down a little bit all righty there we go now here is the sphere I think that's gonna look really cute yeah It gives, it puts up a fight sometimes, but just keep working and don't ever give up, you know? So it'll come together eventually. There we go. All 
All right, I'm gonna go into fast motion a little bit more and do the other one. And then we'll head into the dining room and start working in there. I'm going to head over to the dining room and I'll be back when I'm ready to I'm probably going to have Chris ask Chris to help me put this garland up and we'll see what we where we are and I might just show you everything in place you know and how I sat it up there and uh, what I did to the inside too so all right be right back y'all hey you guys I wanted to come back and make a couple of bows I'm just going to make two two loop two tailed bows to go on either end of this garland out on my dining room hutch. So I'm super tired this evening. It is on into the evening hours and I'm going to quit after I do this and come back. It'll be just like the blink of an eye for you guys, but for me, I'm gonna take the evening and relax and come back and hit it again tomorrow and we will finish up the hutch tomorrow. A beautiful D. Stevens ribbon that Bobby at perpetualribbons.com sent me. Look at that, perpetualribbons.com. I highly recommend Bobby. This is beautiful, beautiful ribbon. And I made one bow over here out of this and I was saving it for these two bows because I knew I wanted to make two, just two loop, two tailed bows, very subtle bows for over there. So let me put you down a little bit and I will explain how to make these very simple two tiered, two or two loop, two tailed bows. Uh, it is hard for me to make one of my tiered bows or funky bows or even a round bow. I could make a round bow with these, but it's, they really make a big, it really makes a big statement because it's four inches wide. And so I just want to use this ribbon on its own. And I want those bows just to be an accent, not the focal point. So how we do it is we roll out, just take some ribbon off of the roll. And this is beautiful ribbon, you guys. I mean, stunning ribbon. It is wired. I want to hold uh, the end with my non-dominant hand and I want to make my first loop just about as big as I think I want the whole bow to be, which is not much bigger than that. And then I want to try to match it on the other side, and I just eyeball it. I don't measure with this bow. And then I pinch it together. to be a smidge bigger. Okay, pinch them together. And then twist that middle. And this we're gonna make a, a center loop. We're gonna twist it around so the front, front side is forward. And then I'm going to make a, rather a big loop, and not huge now. But I would say I'm gonna put my two or to three fingers underneath there, and I'm gonna twirl it around those three fingers. I'm gonna catch it underneath, and I'm going to accordion it in, just like that. Okay, now I just want two tails on this bow, and I don't know how long I want them, so I will make them longer than I think I, I might need them to be and trim them up. Okay, just two, and I, so I pull out the ribbon and I grab it from behind, see that? And I pull it up and that makes the two tails. Accordion it together underneath there. Pipe cleaner, feed it through. Pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. And 
Use this hand as resistance and pull against the other hand and twist, 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 twist. And I don't want, you could make it have three tails, one, two, three, but I don't want three tails on these bows, so I'm gonna cut it pretty short on the back. Cut it off of the bolt like that, and then I'm gonna cut these two in half, and I will wait until I get the bow in place until I trim these tails. And there we have two loop, two tailed bow. All right, now I'm gonna make one, another one just like it, and they're gonna go way up high, pretty high, and they'll be tilted at each corner. All right, so I need to make one more, and then I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> of course, again, it'll be just the snap of a finger for y'all, but I will see you then. back and it's the next day and I went and had my hair did this morning look at it it looks really cute I love how she does it I, I I tend to add more curl because if I try to do it with no curl like this I end up with the, with it flat at the end of the day because I've just got such fine hair I have a lot of it but I've got fine hair so anyway I love it I sprayed it before I came on camera so fingers crossed it'll stay like this <laughs> But anyway, here I am at my hutch, and Chris just helped me. I'm not feeling my best today, if I'm honest, you guys. So I had Chris help me with putting all this stuff up on the top. Check it out, there you go. There's the uh, garland that I made up earlier in this video. And then on either side, you can see I've got these two swaggy pieces that drop down. And then there are the plates with the plastic charger and the milk glass plate that Sweet D gave me and then the Staffordshire plates all glued together. There is my candlestick with the spheres on the top with the uh, lamb's ear and pipberry garland wrapped around it, little candle ring. And then there's the plate that Candace and Dustin gave me for Christmas. And then I did the same thing, of course, on the other side. And yes, it's very symmetrical. And that's how I like this hutch to be. This hutch sits in the center of the room. I like it. To, it's symmetrically placed in the center on this wall, in the center of this wall. I like it to be symmetrical up there. I'm a very symmetrical person anyway. <laughs> so it kind of goes against my uh, psyche not to be symmetrical or balanced. But in this case, I really like it to be balanced. And that's what... This is the goal I was trying to attain, and I love it. I love the way it looks. I also, at 10 o'clock last night, just came out here and I got my dust-free cloth and I dusted all of the shelves in my hutch and I really didn't do really anything to this other than just dust and just scooch things one way or the other because I had moved some stuff out of the way in order to fit some blingy or stuff in for Christmas. But I really didn't add anything else to the hutch other than I added the two little Staffordshire plates on the bottom. One over here and one over on the other side. And I uh, put a, a little ball in this little milk glass container and one down in the front. And honest to goodness, y'all, that is all I did other than just to clean it up and to, you know, set the little pieces like I said, scooch them around to be where I where they were before. So I'm very happy with how this looks. It's subtle. It's pretty. It's, uh, oh my goodness, I cannot tell you. When I went, last year at this time is when I started, when I gutted this thing with all of the old dishes that were my mom and my grandma's and all that. And I started putting decor in and more updated pieces in. And I love it. I love it, you know. So, I do have the two more things. I have those two bows that I want to just add very subtly up here to either 
to either corner and then I'm gonna cut the tails. So let me do that and then I'll come back for some final words and then we'll, I'll take you down and, and give you a closer look at everything. So let me get these bows up here. pretty close to one another here. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> this one's a little higher. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. And I'm gonna cut these tails I'm going to leave them about that long. I'm going to cut them at an angle. looks pretty. Super happy with how this worked out, you guys. I really and truly am. It looks really pretty. <laughs> and that sets the tone for the rest of this room and what it's going to be. Much like the mantle set the tone for the family room, kitchen, kitchen eating area and all of that, this hutch sets the tone for the dining room and then the living room. Now the foyer, as we kind of scooch into the foyer, that's going to be a little bit lighter in palette, but I still might add a touch of the blue. So we'll see where we go with that. Um, next up, I think, as I'm still dressed like this, I think I'm gonna start working on this lantern uh, sitting right here on my dining room table. I'm gonna clean it off and put my new navy blue uh, tablecloth on, and we'll go from there and do this lantern, I think, next. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to have to do much to it. I am going to remove the bow topper on it, and we're going to do something different there. But other than that, not much. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, let me go into some final words and say that thank you guys so much for all of your sweet comments all the time. Sometimes I can give back, but most times I've not been able to. So I thank you guys so very much for leaving me such love. It means so much. There's so much negativity in this world and so much um, angst that it is so refreshing to, to see the positivity that you guys gift me, G-I-F-T, that you gift me with. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I have the sweetest subbies on the planet. I'm not even kidding. I love you all, just like you were my family. So also, uh, to those of you who may be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.